Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia and it is that time of year again. Christmas is upon us and today I wanted to talk to you about some frugal things that my family does to celebrate Christmas. One of the things that we do every year is we put an ornament on the Christmas tree for Melina's Christmas tree that is a butterfly. And in her bedroom, she has the most... Oh, crap. That was my tea. It's impressive that crap is the only word that came out of my mouth. One of the things we do every year, and I know I have told you about a million and one times, that we have multiple Christmas trees in our house and they're all in storage and the the tree in Melina's room is white and we decorate it with butterflies. And then every year as a family, we sit down and make one ornament for Melina together. Her first year, we bought several butterflies in Columbia that were pre-made. We did not make them, but you know, it was our first year. We were exhausted. We hadn't slept in like years. <laughs> Every year we put a different butterfly ornament on the tree. By the time she's ready to move out of the house, she'll have a whole tree that she can start her life with. And if she opts to change her tree out when she's older, that's fine. But buying a Christmas tree and Christmas ornaments when you're young is super expensive. And it would be nice for her to have that already so she won't have to purchase it initially when she first moves out on her own. I'm going to show you us making a butterfly ornament, but I will tell you, I filmed it last year. We do this tradition very close to Christmas, and I didn't want to put up our traditions for last year after Christmas because, you know, by then everybody's tired of Christmas and nobody wants to watch Christmas videos. So I saved it for this year. So the videos you're going to see of our Christmas traditions are actually filmed a year ago. So Melina was five. She is now six. So... So when you see that she has bangs and she looks different and she talks like she's a lot younger, it's because it happened last year. So let's just jump on in. Every year, Melina and Mauricio and I make a Christmas ornament in the shape of a butterfly. Some years we make it from scratch. This year we're using um, a stained glass window kit to make uh, you know, one of those children's ones that you cook in the oven. And then we put them on her Christmas tree. Melina has this beautiful, beautiful white Christmas tree that's covered in butterflies, but it's in storage. So she hasn't had it this year or last year, but when we move into our own place, then she'll be able to have her Christmas tree again. See you guys, mommy told you about these butterflies and at the end we have to these are the shapes that the butterflies look, but you can see they're stuck together so we can make it each at a time. Oh, so we have to make it all at one time, right? Yeah, and we got blue, purple, white, That's... dark, pink, and regular pink to make all these, these butterflies. And that is usually late, but we're going to not start without him. <laughs> let's, let's go take a nap. No! Okay, focus. Come. So you pick your colors and you fill a little hole with the color and you want to keep one color in the hole and you don't want to put any on the outside. Do you want help or you want to do it all by yourself? Um, do it all by myself. Okay. Now remember, each hole has to be one color. You can't mix the colors or they'll turn funny. Because these little things, let me go get some tweezers so I can pull the ones out. He's pulling out his eyebrows. Are 
you <laughs> having issues? I can do. Why can't you do it? Moving it around and. It's supposed to be a fun experiment for our child. Not fun. I'm on the home side. Don't move I it. I love Don't move it. it. You love it. Mauricio's all stressed out about this whole process. I'm not. Ah! Move the table. We're no longer allowed to touch anything. I mean, inevitably, you're gonna find one or two. There's no. a, a pink one right there. This is what we're gonna make sure, this is what we're gonna do right now. There, you see this one over here. Winka, if you hit the table, Mauricio will have a conniption. I'm just warning you. I've never seen Mauricio have a conniption, so. Really, I'm I have, it's not fun. I'm looking forward to it. Boo! Won't go in the oven like that. I haven't been so nervous in my life. Um, I would beg to differ. Read in this. No, you don't want to say it. You can a big, big, big yeah. warm barn and a ancient field. Yes. An age, ancient field? Yeah. I can't read this word. The donkey. What is this? Star Rider. Then. Then. All. All. Stars. Stars. Isn't Melina just the cutest thing you have ever seen? Oh my goodness. I just love looking at old videos of her. I think that's part of the reason I started YouTube is because I have historically been a scrapbooker and this was a great way for me to document like Melina's journey in life. And I just love, love, love doing it. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.